okay let me ask you a question uh, this is supposed to be the moon and now this would be the moon aiming straight across okay this is just a slight tilt up okay this is aiming down at the setting sun so it's not aiming directly across it's aiming just a little bit up it's a half moon you can see now if I tilt my head now you tell me this is a test question if I tilt my head like that okay I tilt my head and then now now here's the other I tilt my head okay now which which one of those is normal for the moon should the moon just stay still like this or should the moon moon turn as I tilt The moon <laughs> does not aim at the sun. Now, sometimes it gets a little close. So, uh, this is not my favorite, and this is not my favorite, and for sure this is not my favorite, because, well, that's, that doesn't even have a sundown, because I didn't like it at all. We're trying to not tell mainstream science they're right. We're trying to show them where they're wrong. Like, a, at least a third of the month they're wrong. And I didn't even start with the other part where you see the sun rise and the moon getting ready to set. Uh, that's a whole nother chart. But this one here is good enough to prove what we're trying to prove. And it just gets better. <laughs> Hello. Somebody left a comment wanted me to do the experiment where we actually see the shadow of the earth. Casting its shadow on the moon like a lunar eclipse. The golf ball is the earth. The nickel is the, the moon. That's the right size ratio. See, there's the shadow. And we just start coming up. We get the distance further. 38 times. That's about 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or... Are you... Really? That's hardly 38 times the distance. That's like 10 times the distance at the most. There's no, there's no crisp and clear shadow. The only way to get that is to have them touching. There's your experiment. It cannot be done. I'm so damn confused. Okay, a better experiment, I think, this time. I got 16 feet exactly and a smoother ball, a microscope, a microscope just to remind us that everything's relative. Okay, I'm going back to the 16-foot beginning, holding the ball up, and here is your lunar eclipse beginning. That's half. Staying on half. Let's go ahead and take it all the way to crescent. And then that's total shade right there. All right, I'm going to come back to half. Staying on half. A little bit more than half, just so we can see a shadow real clear. That's the best we're going to do. Okay, let's analyze that. Remember, everything's relative. So if you drew a line with a pencil and put a microscope on it, it'd be pretty blurry. Thank you for that. Today's model is three-dimensional. Not just a plain old piece of paper, but a plain old piece of paper with some hot glue gun. Some hot glue. Now, I'm making a mountain because uh, I've been trying to memorize the name of these places, and I'm not even going to try to let you know if I've memorized it or not, because I'll stumble. I haven't quite got it perfect yet. But there are mountains that are being seen from great distances. Uh, one popular one's 275 miles. Another popular one is uh, 325 miles. And they can be seen, and they're supposed to be miles buried under by, behind the curve. If the, if the Earth is a ball, if the birth, Earth is a sphere, uh, the one that's 325 miles away is supposed to be eight miles behind the curve, eight miles down below the curve. The other one, a, a couple of miles. And, you know, these are extreme things. Now, we've got hundreds of thousands of things that we see that are too far away, but they're not extreme. I'm giving you the extreme ones uh, to impress you, like this model, how impressive it is. See that glue coming out? <laughs> Uh, and but it and it takes money, 
to get to these locations, and it takes money to buy a telescope. Some Sometimes you have to buy uh, an infrared to a telescope to see what they're looking at. So these things cost money, money to travel, and then you got to hike through the, 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 up the hill, up the mountain. you got to hike. Or you can just go out your front door and look at the moon, see that the moon does not aim at the sun, unless you're considering the, uh, the zenith. You know, you just look up over your head. And then you'll see that the moon does aim at the sun, but you got to concentrate as if you knew that we lived under a dome before you see it. Now, you can do either experiment, whichever one you want to do. They both work. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? So this is the real reason I bought this uh, dome magnifier uh, is because I found out you could do this. Uh, if, we were, if we were standing on the surface of the earth looking up, we'd be looking through a dome and uh, we'd be looking through it like this. And we'd be looking at the, the North Star and we'd see concentric circles just like that. Okay? And then you start to go any direction to south on a flat earth map. So you can go any direction you want and you start to see that it becomes two sets of concentric circles. Isn't that something? That's all, folks.